You can feel the bone as you cut away it. Hunter Conway Kachich shot the moose. He stalked it on the North Saskatchewan River by Fort Carleton, then hauled it east to the Beardies and Okamasis Cree Nation Reserve. There, he begins a lesson in proper deboning technique, including the telltale signs of bad meat, including a foul odor and no fat, and his favorite cuts. These are the best for me. People, most people don't like them because it's all full of tendons. Put them in a slow cooker to cool. It just falls apart in your mouth from all the tendons. 13-year-old Hayden Blackbird takes his turn at the moose. The two clasp hands as the hunter guides the youth through the delicate cutting process. Here you go. Later, Blackbird says the experience was a confidence booster. I'm just really proud of myself that I can do that kind of stuff. That moment of kinship, of traditional land-based skills being passed from one generation to the next, is exactly what organizers here are hoping for. This culture camp, taking place on a grassy plain in the heart of the Beardies and Okamasis Reserve, is the first of its kind in three years, delayed in part because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Participants are taught everything from how to make medicine bags to working with their families to erect a teepee. Having my ancestors be on this land before and living our traditional way, it makes me feel really connected and I get a taste of how our ancestors lived before. And also at the time in the 50s, the past system was here, which meant that my ancestors couldn't practice their, their culture, their languages, their traditions. It was, it was forbidden. And you actually needed a pass to leave the reserve. And so just being here and being able to freely show our teaching, show our culture, show our languages. It's very, very humbling. Using simple materials like a willow tree branch, band member Leo Gamble walks the children through several traditional games. In one, partners are entwined in two pieces of string and have to untangle themselves by talking and negotiating, instead of just taking their hands out of the loops. Gamble says games teach the importance of communication, while also offering a respite from the harsh realities of the past. <laughs> so the the little bit that we do today and a part of this camp is uh, a, a testament to the resiliency of our culture, of what works versus overcoming the the effects, the traumas of of the effects of colonization and residential school the addictions, the violence, the child abandonment and neglect. Gamble's parents attended St. Michael's Residential School on the reserve. He says they didn't have much knowledge of their culture, so he had to learn it later from others. At this culture camp, Gamble is doing his part to pay it forward. Guy Kemville, CBC News, Saskatchewan's Beardies and Okamasis Cree Nation.